Greetings, Spark Millie here, and welcome back to our Motorsport Manager Red Bull Save. Thought I'd mix up the intro a little bit there. It gets a bit boring hearing the same thing over and over again, but I hope you're all having a fruitful day slash night. Welcome back to the series. Today we've got what's looking to be a rainy Montreal GP back in Canada, which is awesome. But before that, just make sure to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the series. Consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed and leave any comments about the series in the comment section below. So on to preparation at the Montreal GP. Now it's a back-to-back -back weekend with last weekend, so really not much time to do anything. We're gonna go ahead and design a front wing. Our engine build, build finished at the end of last race, so we're gonna work on getting the reliability up and for now we'll assign that to Perez before we can improve it and it'll become Max's engine. But we're building a front wing because we wanna start bridging the gap a little bit between the cars. So hopefully Perez can start challenging Hamilton because we really got to start working down that gap. Um, and I don't think Hamilton's going to crash out. So it'll be awesome if we get have Perez also battling with Hamilton. So we try and get some one twos to slow him down a bit. But that is basically all for the prep. Just improving the engine reliability and building a new front wing. So on to the quickest qualifying of the year. Um, it's raining half of Q3. So we're just going to go out and one run and hope for the best. Verstappen gets pole, which is fantastic. Perez on fifth, which I would have liked him in fourth, but fifth is okay. And yeah, onto the race. All right, race day here in Montreal. Looks like the raining conditions are going to continue, and it's actually going to start wet. Now, how wet is the real question? Do we start on slicks? There is some good news. There's some very good news here. We've got light-footed unlocks for Max Verstappen. I saw it in qualifying. Got quite excited about that, so that is awesome. So we're going to strap that on for both cars. So that's something we were really striving for earlier this season, and we finally got it. You know what, I think we could afford to take a risk with Max. Should we put him on slicks? No, we're not. We're not going to take a risk with Max. I wanted to, but I don't. I just don't think it's a good idea. I think it's just a waste. Now, light-footed is not going to work for Inters, obviously. So we're just going to go pretty easy on the Inters to start this race. Just push them. Uh, Perez is naturally better at maintaining tires. But here we go. A rainy Canadian GP. Let's do it. Max Verstappen on pole. Hopefully gets a good getaway. He does. Fantastic getaway from Verstappen. And he's gone. So we're going to jump on board with Perez in the pack and see what's happening. He's fallen back down to seventh, which isn't great. But we're going to speed it up a little bit here. Still fighting with the Alpine. Come on, we've got to beat Alonso early. Alonso always seems to be up in there at the top of the grid. So Alpines have got some pace in this mod. By the way, if you in if you want to see my analysis and some of the F1 races, I'm doing a series this season. So we've done the Bahrain GP and the Saudi Arabia GP review came out an hour before this video did. So after this video, check that out if you're interested. Um, quite a bit of work goes into it. I spent most of today doing it. So it would really mean a lot if you go check that out. But back to Can Canada here, the Canadian. I always say Canadian instead of Canada because it's, you know, Canadian. Just a random fact. And Daniel Ricciardo has crashed out of the race and Mazepin follows him. Okay, I accidentally switched to him, but that was cool. We just saw a little bit of an accident first hand there. Speaking of accidents, that looked quite nasty there. Very close to an accident. There was about three cars right up and close and personal. So interesting there, but let's keep going here. And I don't think desktop audio is on, but I'm going to turn it on mid-race here. So there we go. Now you can hear the race. I always get to turn it on, but oh no. Oh no. This is a first this season. Causing a collision. Is that the pit lane there? What have you done to the car? What have you done to the car, Perez? Front wing will pit you in now. Um, I think Slicks probably could have worked. We're still only three laps in though, I suppose. So we do save. Did you damage anything else? No. May as well put on a new set of inters while we're in the pits. And I don't think it's going to get wet. Nah. So a bit of an unwanted pit stop, but that's fine. Perez is going to come in. No action taken, just a racing incident. Well, for pros anyway. I don't know about the uh, about signs, but um, yeah, that wasn't even the pit lane. We were just past it, which is a bit annoying. But we're still fighting with signs. No more damage, please, Perez. We, we we just want to be able to repair the front wing and get on with the race. Signs doesn't pit, so he's gonna keep going with the damage. I just didn't want to risk it. All right, so we've got some of the grid coming in and jumping on the slick tires. I think maybe we will give it one more lap. Um, tires are shredded. No, he won't. Verstappen's 
inadvertently made the call by saying his tires are shredded. So we're going to put him on the softs now and hopefully that will see him through to the end of the race if we really look after him. Of course he does have live footed. I think we can keep Perez out for one more lap because there is still a bit of water on track just to the next segment. Which could be at the end of this lap. We'll just keep a close eye. Now you can go one more lap I think. Alright, now we'll pit Perez after he crosses there. Oh, safe the guys out. Oh my days. You've got to be kidding me. Where did you crash? You crashed here. Oh, Verstappen, do you want this championship or not? Oh my days. And Perez has just passed the bloody pit lane. That is very depressing. That is just an L. Whatever way you look at it, just an L. No, it's actually not too bad. I didn't lose too much time. But what are you doing, Verstappen? Now he's handed the lead of the race to Leclerc, who's fo closely followed by Russell and Hamilton. It's it's disaster. This is not what we need. We're trying to close the gap on Hamilton, not expand it by another 25 points. Come on, man. But anyway, we're going to see what Perez can do. Hopefully he can steal some points off Hamilton. The safety guy is heading to the garage, so we'll stay with it here. And Verstappen becomes the third DNF of this race. I can't believe it. Max Verstappen. Maybe it was the combination of the slicks, but it's not even that wet anymore. And the whole grid's on slicks. That's just very unlucky, I think. But anyway. Safety car's in. Let's go. Let's push. Try and get a result here. Right on board with Perez. He will jump Bottas in the Alfa Romeo, which I'm very happy about. And sort of needs to get past this Alpine pretty quickly if it's going to have any sort of effect on the top three. But he's not going to be able to. Oh, no, he does. But Norris is now ahead. And then there's another Alpine in his way. And now we're going to just look after these tyres a bit now. He should be able to see these tyres through to the end. Speed through. Still in seventh. Not ideal from Perez here. Come on, mate. No, I don't think he's going anywhere. But very disappointing for Max there. For the second time this season, he's DNF'd from the lead. He's been in first both times he's DNF'd this season. And throwing away what could have been a race win the first time... Definitely a race win this time because he wouldn't have brought out the safety car and he had such a gap. But um, what do you do? There's only so much I can control. But Perez, I mean, to be fair, Perez is doing well on tyres. Everyone else is going to have to pit again. So Perez could still be in with a shout of this race. We're going to speed through it here, see what happens. He is conserving, but he's pushing on fuel and he's up to third, which is awesome. We're going to tell him to keep looking after those tyres so we don't have to stop again and lose our advantage. That stop under the safety car actually helped out Perez a lot. I thought it was going to be bad because he just crossed the start straight as the safety car came in. But it actually turned out to work alright. And he could be on the podium here, Perez. Come on, mate. Just guide that car home. We can probably tell him to push a little bit on the tyres. And we'll just switch to high on the engine mode. He's got plenty of tyre wear. Tell him to keep going. He's still in front of Russell, but the gap is shrinking slightly. He's not going to catch Hamilton or Sainz. At least Hamilton didn't win the race. I'm going to take one positive is that Hamilton didn't win the race. So it's only a certain, amount of go a certain amount of points you lost on him. But Perez gets on the podium, which is as good as we could have asked for him. Helps by the Max DNF, but I would have liked it a lot more if Max didn't DNF. But these things happen. Uh, it's a bit disappointing there from Max. All the work we've been doing has been absolutely obliterated and the gap's been widened. So that rate, those two race wins mean nothing now. It's still 88 points Max is off from Hamilton. So it's going to take a very good run coming into the end of the season. But hey, we're going to give it our best shot. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if not already. Leave any thoughts, feedback and suggestions in the comments section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.